Welcome to the chapter Animals Base of Our Life. This slide presents the overview of the chapter. Learning Objectives By the end of this chapter, you will be able to Explain the type of animals tamed or domesticated by our ancestors. Describe about the advantages and disadvantages of sheep rearing. Explain about the animals that are friends of farmer. Mention the uses of different animals. Describe the difficulties faced by animals because of human interventions. Mention the factors that are responsible for decreasing the animal population. Define biodiversity. List the measures to be followed to protect our biodiversity. Now let us start our lesson with the introduction. In lower classes, we learned animals are living creatures. There are different types of animals that live in different places. They are found in forests, in water, in desert areas and in our surroundings. The importance of skin on animals. The classification of animals based on their ears and skin. The difference between oviparous and viviparous animals. Do you know why our ancestors used to tame or domesticate the animals? The problems of sheep rearing. The small living creatures that help farmers in agriculture. The uses of animals. The reason for the decrease in the population of animals. What is biodiversity? Let us try to answer these questions and learn more about different animals and their importance. First, let us study about the importance of animals from our ancestors' time. In ancient time, our ancestors used to live in forests. During initial stages, their primary food was animals and tubers. Later, they started growing crops and doing different kinds of work. During this period, man started domesticating the animals for the purpose of food, security and transportation. From ancient time to present day, man has been domesticating the animals to fulfill his needs. For example, the milk of cow and buffalo is used as food. Animals like ox and bull are used for agriculture. Donkey, camel and ox are used for the transportation of goods. Camels are found mostly in Rajasthan. As it is a desert region, it is difficult for the people over there to walk across sand in desert. So, they travel on camels. Some people bring the camels from Rajasthan to different states of India and use them as fund ride for children and earn money for their livelihood. Drag and drop the pictures of animals onto the table respectively based on the work they do.
knowledge check attempt the following questions to check your understanding now we will know about how sheep are useful as a resource to a person till now we have learned that human beings depend on different animals for various needs now let us study about the story of shepherd named ramaya who lives in a village ramaya has a herd of 60 sheep to graze or eat grass in a field his herd daily he walks 30 kilometers he takes the sheep to uplands early in the morning and returns in the evening when it gets dark he has a dog which helps him in his work he carries his lunch in a cloth bag and eats it in the afternoon and feeds the dog also as the lambs cannot walk for miles he protects them by carrying them on his shoulders during summer when grass is not available he migrates to distant places along with the sheep for 5 months even the other people also migrate in groups of 10 members each they take the donkey along with them to carry their cooking utensils and other things which are necessary ramaya carries a pair of chapels a woolen rug a hand stick a mobile phone and a wooden water bottle with him In the past when he was away from his house he was not able to know about the welfare of his family members once he couldn't know about the death of his father but now he does not have such type of problems because recently he bought a mobile cell phone he talks to his family members every day over the mobile cell phone the shepherds stay wherever they find grass mostly the grass is found near the banks of streams and canals while sheep are eating the grass sometimes cheetahs jackals and hyenas attack them in these situations dogs protect them to some extent there is a fear of snakes during night times some farmers ask the shepherds to leave their sheep in the agricultural fields during night times because the excreta of sheep will become a fertilizer in overtime and is useful for the crops as the farmers get benefited by this they in turn give rice and vegetables to the shepherds in this way they help each other in his journey ramaya sells the adult sheep whenever he gets a good offer he does not sell the lambs With this money he clear the debts and save some money. When the businessmen purchase the sheep from him they take the sheep away in lorries Ramaya feels bad and cries for them. He relieves himself and continue rearing the sheep. Now let us look how much profit does Ramaya get on selling the sheep. Ramaya sold 32 of his sheep at rupees 4000 each he also got an income of rupees 4000 on selling the excreta of sheep and rupees 3000 on selling wool he spent rupees 68000 on the sheep for medicines fodder vaccination and transportation for the whole year how much money is left with ramaya click on solution tab to view the solution income expenditure balance sheet till now we have read about the shepherd ramaya just like ramaya many other people live by rearing sheep they face many problems in their lives mainly during famines venkataya and kishan of mahabub nagar also have taken up their sheep to distant places for sheep rearing as a means of livelihood let us know what is published about them in newspapers 
The newspaper on the screen gives information about the problems faced by the shepherds when Kataya and Kishan on sheep rearing. Knowledge check. Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Let us learn about the animals that help farmers in protecting their crops. Click each tab to know more. Hi, I am an earthworm. I help the farmers in many ways. We eat the waste products from fields. Soil becomes fertile with my excreta. We loosen the soil so that the roots of the plants get enough air. Because of this, the plants grow well and the yield of the crop increases. But due to overusage of pesticides, we are dying. Hi, I'm a spider. I use my mouth secretion and make a thread. With the help of this thread, I weave the web. See my web in the image. I will protect the crops by eating harmful insects and mosquitoes that get struck in my web. But we are dying because of the usage of pesticides. Hi, I'm an ant. I usually walk on the plants. I help the farmers by eating the smaller insects and their eggs lying on the plants. I help in avoiding the usage of pesticides on crops. Hi, I am snake. We are friends of farmers. We help the farmers by swallowing the rats that destroy the fields by eating grains. Most of you are afraid of me and kill me wherever I am seen. But all of us are not poisonous. Only a few snakes like King Cobra, Nagupamu, Python, Sea Snake, Russell's Viper are poisonous. Hi. I am Tychrogramma. I have been created by the scientists from the Institution of Crops and Agricultural Research, ICAR. My lifespan is only one way. I help the farmers by destroying the eggs of enemy insects that infect the crops. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Here let us study some other important uses of animals. We know that milk is obtained from animals like cow and buffalo. Meat is obtained from hen, goat, sheep and pig. Some animals like horse, donkey, camel and ox are used for the purpose of transportation. Observe the fan shown on the screen. These are made of peacock feathers. The tribal people make these fans with the fallen feathers of peacock and sell them in the fairs. Different parts of ox are used in making different materials. For example, the horns of ox are used in making buttons, bones are used in making cups, hooves are used in making firefighting foam, intestines are used in making tennis racket strings. We get silk from silk moths and wool from sheep. Honey is produced from honey bee. Drag and drop the names of the animal onto the table respectively based on their uses.
knowledge check. Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Now let us study about the difficulties and pain faced by animals because of human activities. We already learned about living and non-living things. Let us revise in short about what are the differences between living and non-living things. Consider dog and a rock. In this case, dog is a living thing and a rock is a non-living thing. The table on the screen gives the list of characteristics to be considered for proof as a living being. The things that possess the characteristics listed in the tabular column are called living things and the things that do not possess these characteristics are called non-living things. Human beings need air, water, food and shelter to survive. Apart from these, they also need love, affection, kindness, sympathy, etc. As animals are also living things like us, they also require all the basic needs. But are we really supporting the animals to meet their basic requirements? The answer is no. Look at the images shown on the screen. The images show the animals suffering. If the same thing happens to us, how do you feel? Think that animals are also living beings like us, they too will have pain, never harm them. Take care of the animals in your surroundings. When they are subjected to pain, hungry, wounded, thirsty or when they are suffering from heat, cold and rain. Now let us listen to animals in their own words how they are suffering because of human activities. Monkey in a circus, snake in a basket, parrot in a case, human cruelty on other animals. Click each tab to know more. Monkey in a circus. Lakshmi is a circus monkey. The circus people caught her when she was young. They trained her to jump through the fire, walk on the rope, to dance and to ride the bicycle for their livelihood. Her owner controls her with the help of an edged stick. Many people throw money at her for mercy or sympathy. But do you know the feelings of Lakshmi? Let us listen in her own words. I need to jump, play and earn money even if I like it or not. If I am not interested, I will be forced to do the circus. Though I am hungry or suffer with pain, I need to dance again and again Otherwise, they will beat and threaten me to dance. No one will understand my pain. You will enjoy by seeing me. I don't have parents like you to protect me. I am alone. In fact, where should I be? Who should I live with? Snake in a basket While I was enjoying my freedom, I was caught and placed in a basket. I am suffering without food. I don't drink milk. But my owner forcibly opens my mouth and pours milk. All this milk enters my lungs and I feel sick. Kindly help me to come out of this basket and let me live my life happily. Parrot in a case. I always hovering over the trees, ponds and in the sky. When I was on the tree, I was caught and put into a case. I want to fly freely in the sky. When will I become free? Human cruelty on other animals. People are killing the elephants for their tusks. Tigers and deer are killed for their hides. People are hunting, killing, capturing and eating many animals and birds for their livelihood. As per the Schedule 1 of Wildlife Protection Act 1971, hunting and selling of wild animals is a crime. One who commits this crime will be punished with 3 to 7 years of imprisonment and a fine of rupees 1 lakh. Now, let us study about the Ungol breed 
the ox. The Ungol breed of oxen has become the best breed of the world. It is 2 meters in height, has short horns, has a nice hump, has thick skin at throat and has a beautiful look. They are the backbone of our agriculture. The Europeans who have migrated to our country took these oxen and cows to their countries for the purpose of agriculture and milk yielding. Especially the people of Brazil developed this breed and are using widely. The Angol breed cow in Brazil gives 40 liters of milk every day. The demand for Angol breed has increased a lot. If we want to import our Angol breed oxen from Brazil, we have to spend nearly 5 crore rupees. Unfortunately, their number in our state is decreasing day by day and this is a very much worrying fact. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Here let us study the cause for the decrease in animal population. In the past, when there was no man on earth, only one animal species per year used to become extinct. But in the present days, one species is disappearing for every 20 minutes. This is mainly because of human intervention in animal life. Let us take an example of our national animal tiger. Tigers are the largest members of the cat family. It is the most threatened species of our world's carnivores. Royal Bengal tiger is seen more in India and Bangladesh. India has about 60% of the world's tigers. But from the past five years, the population of these tigers has been decreased by an average of 35%. This is because of poaching, that is, illegal hunting or capturing of animals and killing them and other reasons. Not only the tiger, the other animals and birds like Batameka Pakshi, Kalivi Kodi and Punganuru cow are decreasing day by day. In order to protect the animals, we need to take certain measures, otherwise animals will surely disappear. To save the animals, our government has launched certain projects. Make a note. Observe the picture of the bird vulture. Its height is 2 feet. It is not seen in our state for the past few years. If any one of you finds this bird in your area, you are requested to inform the Biodiversity Society of Telangana immediately. It is said that the informers will be rewarded with 2 lakh rupees. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Let us study the meaning of biodiversity. Human beings are thinking that the earth belongs to only them. But it is absolutely wrong. This earth belongs to different species like trees, animals, birds, fish, etc. Each and every life form that exists on the earth has equal right to live and utilize the resources of the earth. The term biodiversity refers to the variety of life forms existing on the earth. Nature provides sufficient food and water for all living beings. Animals utilize it properly without harming the nature. But the human beings say that everything is theirs and destroy the nature. He utilizes more than he needs. In the modern era, Man does not care for any species. He tries to get everything for himself. He wants to enjoy all the natural wealth now itself. In simple words, we can say that he is greedy. 
in a saying gautama buddha said that wants and greed make our life sorrowful man is the only creature solely responsible for pollution for example when the pollutants from agriculture like agrochemicals fertilizers and the pollutants released from industries containing chemical residues and different types of organic wastes flow into a river then it leads to the death of marine animals animals and birds are facing a lot of problems because of plastics which are invented by modern man cattle are dying by eating the plastic bags thrown by us now let us learn about the things that ought to be done to protect our biodiversity click each tab to know more plant the trees in the backyards of houses school premises vacant places and in streets stop cutting the trees reforestation should be our goal show love affection and sympathy on birds and animals in our surroundings provide food to them do not throw plastic bags and other waste materials into rivers because they destroy the life of marine animals any kind of action which harms living creatures should be avoided and discouraged do not destroy the habitat of animals for the purpose of development knowledge check attempt the following questions to check your understanding keywords list of keywords are shown on this screen summary let us recap the highlights of this chapter animals are the living creatures there are different types of animals that live in different places our ancestors lived in forests during the initial stages the primary food of our ancestors was animals and tubers later they started growing crops and doing different kinds of work from ancient time to the present day man has been domesticating the animals to fulfill his needs some animals like yetworm snake ant spider help the farmers in many ways so they are called friends of farmer human beings need air water food and shelter to survive As animals are also living things like humans they also require all the basic needs people are killing animals to meet their demands in the past when there was no man on the earth only one animal species per year used to become extinct but in the present days one species is disappearing every 20 minutes this is mainly because of human intervention on animal life Each and every life form that exists on the earth has equal right to live and utilize the resources of the earth. The term biodiversity indicates the variety of life forms existing on the earth. Read the questions and attempt the answers on your own. You can click answer for your reference. follow up work take up the following activities name the different animals that might have been tamed or domesticated by our ancestors 
visit an agricultural field, observe the crops and the creatures living there, learn how those creatures are useful to the plants, discuss with the farmer and list out the names of the creatures which are helping him. Many things are required by living creatures like us. What are they? Collect information about how the rights of animals are being exploited in your area. Write the details in a tabular form and exhibit it in the class. Prepare an album on the animal world. Prepare a poster saying that all animals and birds should be shown love and affection. Provide them water and food. Paste the poster at prominent places like your school and the village. Form an animal protection committee at your school. Take an oath to protect the environment and animals. All animals gathered and discussed the movement on protecting animal rights. They passed a resolution to question the people who exploit the animal rights. Write what questions and representatives of animal rights society would ask the people. Visit a nearby agricultural field, list out the insects and animals that harm or help the farmers in the fields. Observe the animals in your area which are subjected to violence and write about them. Draw your favorite animals and color them and write a few lines about them. Which districts have forests in Andhra Pradesh? Mark on the map. Which animals are there in those forests? Test your understanding of the chapter by taking the mock unit test. You have successfully completed the chapter Animals Base of Our Life.